Hey guys, so I thought that I would just do a short news update because I've posted about both of these things on my X account and they've been getting a lot of attention. Sorry that I haven't been making as much content, but I'm in the final stretch of my vacation to Taiwan, South Korea, and Japan. I also just got engaged, so sorry the content's been a little bit uh, uh, on the thin side, but let's talk about the news that a lot of people are, are finding some concern with. I posted that two months ago, SpaceX landed a booster off the Bahamas coast, and now apparently those operations have been suspended. So this was originally reported by Reuters, and then Ars Technica also shared this information, saying, quote, Bahamas to SpaceX, let's, let's press pause. The Bahamas government said on Tuesday it's suspending all SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket landings in the country pending a full post-launch investigation of the latest Starship mishap, Reuters report. So already off the bat, it's like, why would you pause Falcon 9 booster landings, which are obviously very flight proven and reliable for something that happened with Starship? Quote, no further clearances will be granted until a full environmental assessment is reviewed, Bahamian Director of Communications said, and then Ars Technica goes further, falling from the sky, the Bahamian government said in February, after SpaceX's first Falcon 9 first stage landing in the country, that it had approved 19 more throughout 2025. You guys remember I was saying, would you watch a vlog if I actually went to go cover this because they're trying to make it, you know, a tourism destination for space fans. And so they were going to do 19 more of those throughout this year, which would have been very easy. Falcon 9 launches all the time. And uh, apparently, now that's suspended, uh, the Bahamas post-launch investigation comes after a SpaceX Starship spacecraft exploded in space last month, minutes after lifting off from Texas following the incident. Following the incident, the Bahamas said debris from the spacecraft fell into its airspace. So I wrote, my question, why pause Falcon 9 landings for a Starship-related issue? And I'll just read you some of the comments. Some of you guys are saying that this is probably political. Maybe they want more money from SpaceX and more political comments. Yeah, so a lot of you guys are basically saying that this is either political or that the Bahamas is trying to get money. So I don't really know what the circumstances are. And so it is a little bizarre to me because I remember watching this first landing off the coast of the Bahamas in February, two months ago. And, you know, SpaceX played some pre-recorded interviews with the Prime Minister of the Bahamas. And this seemed like something that was they were very excited for and very open to. Uh, we've long been known for tourism. Bahamas is now going beyond sun, sun and sea. We hope that millions of people will observe uh, from the Bahamas this event over the coming years. It's an opportunity for collaboration with academia and the University of Bahamas. It's an opportunity really to advance careers for young Bahamians and future Bahamians. So not exactly sure what happened there, but you guys seem to like talking about it on X. So there's some space news for you um, that I'm a little bit bummed about because I wanted to make that trip. The other post that got a ton of engagement, of course, everyone was talking about the Blue Origin flight featuring Katy Perry, Gail King, Lauren Sanchez, who is Jeff Bezos' second wife, um, and it got a lot of criticism. You know, it got a lot of attention, but it also got a ton of criticism. It is the highest high, and it is surrender to the unknown, trust, um, and this whole journey is not just about going to space. It's the training, it's the the team, it's the whole thing. I couldn't recommend this experience more. This is like up there with all the, you know, different um, tools that I've learned in my life from meditation to the Hoffman process. This is up there because what you're doing is you're find you're like really finding the love for yourself because you got to trust in yourself on this journey and then you're feeling the love when you come down for sure and you're feeling that strength so i feel really connected to that strong divine feminine right now by the way you're such a badass i love that the month of april you're like i'm going to space and i'm launching my tour and one of the posts that i made and i think that this is just you know an ongoing debate is referring to these women as astronauts. Um, 
just because they barely crossed the Kármán line, as I wrote, I'm sorry, but calling people who barely crossed the Kármán line astronauts seems disrespectful to real astronauts. This post got over 530,000 views, and I think people need to understand that I'm not trying to, you know, diminish what they did or throw shade at the women, but at the same time, I don't think that it's appropriate for them to get astronaut wings and call themselves astronauts when they certainly didn't have to pilot the craft. They really didn't have to get much training at all. And this is, you know, an 11 minute trip, um, basically barely past the Carmen line. So I think that it's a bit ridiculous. Some people are saying, you know, why, why are people being so negative about this? And I think it's because of the way that, you know, it's been portrayed. Got it? I gotcha. I gotcha, Flynn. Gotcha. Mm, proud of you, Flynn. Oh, the moon! You guys, I will have to tell you, look at the moon. That's amazing. Wow, look at the blue line. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my That's gosh. our pink moon. Okay. Now it's time to pick out that. Oh my, gosh. Oh, my gosh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's amazing. It's like if they would have just said, oh, this is so exciting. And, you know, we had a few minutes in space or I'm a space tourist. I think that that's much more appropriate. But real astronauts, I mean, even the Polaris Dawn crew, you know, what they did and what they had to go through were Fram too. It's, it's so much more intensive. And so to see people like Katy Perry and, you know, also this idea that it's this historic all women mission. And Katy Perry was saying that she, you know, the thing that she took away was a lot of self-trust, trusting in herself through this mission. I was just kind of like, what exactly did you have to trust yourself about? Because you guys have no control once you're up there. I mean, this thing is controlled remotely. So you guys had some really great comments about it. Actually, I noticed as I was going to film this video that that post has been deleted. So I don't know if it's because my sharing of it got a lot of negative feedback, but uh, Leland Freeman says, yeah, it's like calling airline passengers pilots. New Shepard was a completely automated flight. They had as much control of the capsule as passengers of a bus. Other people are a little bit more optimistic and positive, and I'm not trying to be, you know, so down about it, but Rudy says, it's a lost leader party trick to now. If it gets people thinking about space issues more often, then I'm all for it. So, you know, uh, space tours probably would be more appropriate. But I think a lot of people did not like seeing celebrities and famous people who already have a lot of money go on this flight. It just adds to the narrative that this is a joyride for billionaires. Um, but you know, who knows? Maybe it will get us closer to making space fully accessible for everyone. So that's all for now. Those are just two things that have been on my radar as I'm trying to enjoy my vacation or what's left of it, but I wanted to at least get this video out there and I should be back in Austin. We're flying home um, this weekend. So I'm really excited to get back to business, but it's also been a wonderful trip, a wonderful time here. And I highly recommend going to either Japan or South Korea, even Taiwan, if you've never been to these countries. The hospitality is amazing and uh, it's, it's been a great trip. So thanks so much for supporting my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.